Hi, this is Tim Herms again with Lightwave. We're here at day three of the OFC show. I'm here at the Keysight Technologies booth, and I'm lucky enough to speak with Bern Nevendahl. Good to see you. And we are going to learn a little bit, or I'm going to learn a little bit more about tunable lasers, and you're going to sell me one. Yeah. So what is a tunable laser? A tunable laser is a light wave oscillator where you can change the wavelength or the frequency or the color, as we call it sometimes. And uh, to make a tunable laser, you basically need two things. That's first an amplifier or gain medium, and secondly, a resonator. And inside the resonator, there's a grating and a mirror. And to control the tunable laser or to tune the wavelengths, you need to move the mirror. Now, what do the customers do with those uh, tunable lasers? They measure filters, and these filters are found either in uh, multiplexers, demultiplexers, or wavelength selective switches. And, uh, these wavelength selective switches or multiplexes, demultiplexes, they need to uh, select out the wavelengths the customers are sending the information on. Mm -hmm. And to do that, they need to know where the wavelength select, uh, selectivity is, how deep the filter is, what's the slope of the filter, these kind of things. And to do that, they need basically the tunable laser itself, a couple of power meters, and sometimes even a polarization controller. And now we're with Stefan Loeffler, and we're still talking about the 81606A tunable laser. Stefan, it's good to see you. Thank you. Uh, in your uh, product announcement, you say that you've been manufacturing tunable lasers for more than two decades. How does the new laser compare to the current products that you have? The new 81606A tunable laser is reaching a new level of accuracy, both in static mode as well as in swept mode up to 200 nanometers per second. And this is made possible by a built-in wavelength reference unit, which gives us real-time feedback and a very high resolution on the wavelength readings. What you see here is the measurement of a acetylene cell um, done at 200 nanometers per second. And uh, we compare the literature values, that's the, the uh, vertical lines, with the actual reading in both directions, forward and backward, 200 nanometers per second. Most important question, of course, is how do these advances in the new tunable laser affect the customer experience? Well, researchers and developers will simply love the performance of the device. They get four times more accuracy out of it compared to the previous model. And we can do measurements at 40 times more speed at the same accuracy level compared to the previous one. Then we have 12 dBm output power. At the same time, 10 dB um, lower source spontaneous emission, which means we in, in the end get about 15 dB more dynamic range. Manufacturing customers will simply love um, that they can do the same kind of measurements now at a higher speed um, at 200 nanometers per second, bidirectional, which um, gives them more devices tested per hour and it reduces the operational expenses for them um, compared to the previous and current solutions. Sounds like a great solution. I'd love to say. Well, that. thanks for sharing your time with us here at the Keysight Technologies booth. This is Tim Herms with Lightwave. And I'm here with Stefan Laufler. Thank you, Tim.